the way we are moving forward is going to be an encouragement to each one of the people. Okay. President, sir, in continuation to your guidance, we are very happy that this is the fifth hackathon. That means we have already completed 40 excellent speakers who have been the panelists on different subjects in AI. And these all happen to be mostly chartered accountants. You will be happy to know the videos which are being posted on different platforms by various uh, panelists is actually being appreciated across the length and breadth of the country. Good evening, esteemed colleagues, distinguished guests, and all the brilliant minds gathered here today evening. It is both an honor and privilege to welcome you to AI Hackathon 5, an event that truly epitomizes the pioneering spirit and intellectual curiosity of our profession. Today we gather to celebrate the remarkable intersection of two powerful forces, artificial intelligence and finance. Let's start with a round of applause to our very esteemed president, CA Ranjit Nagarwal, and my fellow council colleagues, CA Dhyaniva Sharma and CA Omej Sharma, their, their visionary leadership and unwavering support continues to be the backbone of our vibrant society and community of chartered accountants. Let me compliment the this committee leadership. Uh, issued had first time started hackathon. Many people are don't know what is hackathon. So this committee has started the word hackathon under leadership of Dayaliwa Sarma and Umesh Sarma. And this is the fifth one. And thank you very much for making this entire terminology so popular amongst the masses of our CF fraternity. And uh, wherever I am also going, people are interested to join this AI uh, committee of the ICI. So thank you, Raj, uh, Ranjit sir, and thank you, Nanda sir. And uh, Ranjit sir, your vision of AI in ICI, it's the first time you have dreamed and we are following that dream under chairmanship of Daya Neva sir. So thank you, sir. And uh, let's wish that all your dreams get true in this AI in ICI in year 2020-24. Thank you, sir. Uh, now let's move toward the another panelist, Subha Chandran. So let's welcome Subha Chandran with uh, a loud applause. And over to you, Subha Chandran. Hope I'm audible. And yeah, you are audible. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, first of all, thanks for the opportunity uh, by ICA and uh, AI and ICA committee, our uh, president, vice chairman, and AI uh, committee president and vice chairman. And I'll uh, uh, share my screen and uh, start with my uh, presentation. Yeah. Tick, 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 tick. Just a minute. Uh, able to see my screen? Yes. Yes. So today we are going to talk about a tool uh, which helps uh, data analytics or uh, which is uh, the core of uh, financial analysis. Uh, so uh, this tool name is called Data Genie. Uh, it's an AI powered data analytic companion. So the tool can be reached at uh, this given address. And uh, let us talk about what this tool about. So in my presentation, I will be taking first few minutes to explain what is this and uh, example of how this can be utilized uh, with a use case. So first, uh, this tool can be used to, to connect to your XLS, uh, CSV or XLSB files or databases as well. Uh, basically, our day in day out life uh, revolves around our uh, uh, Excel, um, uh, which is our uh, go to tool for analysis. So many times we need to know formulas. Uh, we need to know uh, uh, how to do complex things. But uh, with the help of AI, can we uh, take advantage and move faster? So for me, AI is nothing but 10x faster, anything. Uh, so that's how we see. So this helps simple onboarding of your data. Uh, all that needed is your data to be in a, a table format. So it is like a, a column rows with headers. Uh, next, what should we do? Okay, I have loaded my data. What will we do? Ask your question about the data in the plain language. 
and get real time insights uh, what you were what you wanted from the data from your data set next uh, so how this can be done uh, what are the things which i so i am asking questions what are the things i can do so first um, if you are all familiar with power bi uh, tableau or uh, any other uh, data analytics tool uh, there are three portions to it one you have to do the etl that means extraction uh, transforming the data and loading the data for analysis and then uh, for example in power, Play, power bi we use power query and then uh, in the front end we use dax to write the formulas for the visualization and then use the visualization tools. The same here can be done just by our natural language. So that is what uh, we are trying, uh, we, are, we will be able to do this tool. Uh, second, so we have done, it's a web-based tool. Uh, we have seen the outputs, it can be downloaded, uh, the table, the output is on the table, I mean, in the table format, it can be downloaded as an Excel, if it is a visualization, it can be saved as a picture. Uh, so one thing the tool offers is uh, the data security. That means the data what we upload is not sent to any uh, large language models. And number two, uh, once you si sign out or close your session, your data in the backend is also deleted. So which means the data is never stored in anywhere else. So quickly, uh, oh, what are they offer them the pricing? It's a two day free trial and then uh, per day it's 99 and uh, peak it's 699 and uh, because we also need to know uh, how much it is affordable uh, then i'm quickly uh, going into the uh, session i think due to i'll just uh, bring the session i'll uh, first log out because it was already logged in so this is the page, uh, the genipro.org is the page where we can access. Since already I have an account here, I'm signing in. Once we signing in, uh, signed in, uh, we will uh, be having a, uh, sorry, uh, uh, data guidelines how to do use the data genie. So they say it's uh, all the sheets should be in rows and columns and headers, which I highlighted. And uh, unnecessary data need not be there. Like you think about you feeding into a, Power BI or a date tableau or something like that. Uh, the columns uh, must have headers and better to avoid uh, errors, uh, what we have understood. And uh, data, date fields. So basically, the data, data types are three types. So uh, the numbers, uh, text, and date. So the date should not be error. So these are the things which uh, are guideline. So let us quickly uh, load a particular dummy file which I have created. So once uh, we load it, we say upload. So it says uh, file uploaded successfully. Now I have uh, multiple sheets, but all I wanted to analyze is uh, the sales of 2023, sales of 2022, and then I have a expense report as well. For right now, I'm using these two uh, uh, data. So once I load the uh, particular sheets, so it gives you a preview of what this sheet contains about. So it gives the table uh, first few lines uh, to, to know what, what it is. Then quickly, uh, I have uh, have the for the interest of the time, given the time, uh, I'm trying to showcase the three things. One is the ETL portion. The other one is the analysis. The third one uh, is the visualization. And the fourth one is the versatility. So let us quickly get into the ETL portion. So I'm asking ETL here. So generally, many times, the data what we receive might not be in the format what we need. Uh, maybe the columns are, uh, the, the data what we need are in columns, not in rows. So quickly, I wanted to convert uh, the sales, uh, sorry, sorry for uh, the navigation. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say here is my uh, sales value and metal cost value in columns. I need it in rows. So I also need it for the first top 10 customers. So unprivate the sales and material cost of the sales of the year 2022. Uh, for the top 10 customers. So once I click, it uh, takes a couple of seconds. And now we have the data. So if you see here, it gives the top 10 customers and their sales value and then the material cost value one by one. So this is one example of uh, uh, the, the ETL data, your uh, extraction, transformation and loading. So let us quickly move into uh, simple analysis. So I can ask, uh, top five customers by sales and by region. So if I put it, uh, 
yeah, I think there is a problem with my data. Uh, so I'll move on to the next question. So here we are going a little bit complex. So where I want the sales percentage to total sales of the top five customers, profit, their profit percentage, and percentage to total profit. Uh, generally, it takes uh, at least uh, uh, half an hour to one hour for to get the data clean and get all these informations. All we need is try and give as much as details what you want in the um, um, page and it easily calculates, get the top five customers, its sales value, its profit value, um, percentage to sales, the total sales, the mix and percentage of profit and profit percentage to the total, I mean, profit value to the total, um, uh, the respective customer's profit value to the total profit. So if here, the interesting thing you have seen here is uh, the profit value. So if I go to back to the uh, original data set, it does not have a profit. So that means it's sales cost, sales value, and metal cost value. This is per unit and this is value. So uh, where the data, uh, the AI anal anal analyzes and understands how to calculate uh, the profit and it also calculates the way uh, percentages as well. So this is the complexity level next. So we go one more step. Okay, I'm getting- uh... Attention, last two minutes. Maybe. Yes, yes, just. So also, as I said, I can click here, uh, the, the table will be downloaded and you can uh, uh, take it for your further analysis or share it with the team. Finally, uh, these two points, the trend analysis, the visualization. So what I'm asking is, uh, from the table, if we see original table, the month name are, uh, there are two tables uh, um, for the year two years. The month names are not properly given here, but I wanted to analyze by month uh, for the comparison between the these two years sales. And also I wanted to properly sorted by April to March because we, in Excel, we always encounter when we sort the month name, it will not, after April, you will get August. Now I have also given that logic here. So let us wait and see how uh, we get a, uh, so in a fraction of a second, it did the ETL, it did, it calculated the sales and it uh, calculated the 2022 sales here and given the color code of 2023 and by month it has sorted. So this is, this can be saved and uh, downloaded for a uh, shared for your uh, uh, further analysis. So now versatility, what happens is it is not about the same uh, uh, data it understands and do. So I have one more report, expense report. So it gives the, data and if i ask uh, this is expense report so by employees i'm asking calculate top three employees from the expense report uh the amount along with their category of expenses payment method and currency so it's a lot too much to ask at a uh, given point in time so in a fraction of a second it gives you these three david miller jason and stephen and their travel category their uh, uh, method of payment they what uh, currency they have used and what is the value so in short uh what i'm trying to say is we are uh uh, having a tool which will uh, help you to uh, get rid of the barrier of uh, uh, non-technical, uh, I mean, the technology, I mean, so. technical side of it. So if non-technical people can also just use by uh, their words and get the analysis done in fraction of a second. And thanks for the opportunity. Thank you, Subha Chandran, for the analysis of the Data Genie, Data Genie tool. And you have also elaborated the ETL, and that is very important. That is extraction, then T is for transformation, transformation. and L is for loading. loading. So this concept we have learned today, ETL. So whatever uh, Excel data is there, the data genie is taking, extracting, transforming, and loading. So a good uh, use case you have presented. So thank you, Subha Chandran, for your uh, use case and time.